Hi. So now we know that any number, whether it is a natural number, whole number or integer, can be represented in the form of P by Q. And any number which can be represented in this form is called a rational number, right? So suppose if we have a rational number like 1 by 2, if we divide 1 by 2, we are going to get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the decimal representation of 1 by 2, right? Similarly, if I do 1 by 8, this will be equal to 0 0.125. This is the decimal representation of 1 by 8, right? And as we can write a rational number or fractional number in the form of decimal, right? How do we write it? We divide 1 by 2. Since 1 is a smaller number than 2, I'll put a decimal, then I note down a 0, that is actually dividing 1 into 10 parts, right? And now I can divide it 5 times. So 2 5s are 10 and I get 0 as the remainder, right? So the decimal value of 1 by 2 is actually 0 0.5 and the decimal value of 1 by 8 is 0 0.125. And there is a way by which we can actually convert decimal number into fraction, right? How we do it? If we have 0 0.5, first we draw a bar like this, which is definitely the division bar. And then we remove this decimal and in place of decimal I put a 1 and then this 1 will be followed by the number of zeros which will be equal to the number of digits appearing after decimal. So since we have only one digit which is 5 appearing after decimal I'll put only one zero, right? So it becomes 5 by 10, right? But since 5 and 10 have common factors which is 5 so I'll divide both numerator and denominator by 5 so if I divide numerator by 5 I'll get 1 and if I divide denominator by 5 5 twos are 10 right so the equivalent fraction or the simplest fraction of 5 by 10 can be written as 1 by 2 right which is nothing but this so this is the method where we convert a decimal number into fraction or rational number, right? But this method can be used only if you have terminating decimal. That means there are a finite number of digits after the decimal, right? If you have a finite number of digits after decimal, you can put those many zeros followed by one in the denominator and solve it and convert it into a rational number. But if you have infinite number of decimal, then there arises two varieties. One is non-terminating but recurring decimal and second variety is non-terminating, non-recurring decimal. Right. So in non-terminating decimals, we have two varieties. One is recurring decimal and another one is non-recurring decimal. Suppose if I want to do 2 by 3, 2 by 3, that means I have to divide 2 by 3. 2 is a smaller number which cannot be divided by 3. So I'll put a decimal and put a 0 over here. And now it becomes 20 and 3, 6 are 18. And if I subtract, again I get 2, right? And again I can copy a 0 over here and again it will be divisible 6 times and 3, 6 are 18 and if I subtract again I am going to get 2. So as you can see this process is never going to end. So this 2 by 3 can actually be written as 0.66666 and these 6s will continue or it can be written as 0 0.6 and then you put a bar over the 6 this represents the 6 is recurring infinite times, right? Or you can write it as 0 0.6 and put a dot over this. So these are the two methods of writing the recurring decimal. But as you can see, the 0 0.66666 infinite times actually is coming from 2 by 3. And 2 by 3 is a rational number, right? That means if you have non-terminating recurring decimal, you can actually convert that into a rational number, 
right this is actually the case which can be converted into the form of rational numbers right but we have some more examples like square root of 2 the value of square root of 2 you can find it using the division method is 1.4142133562 and it actually continues and as you can see there are not a single digit or any set of digit which is actually recurring right that means this number the square root of 2 is actually an irrational number that means if you have a decimal number which is not recurring and not terminating not terminating means if you want to continue the process you will get many more digits then that number is called a non-rational number or irrational number right so square root of 2 is an irrational number that means you cannot convert this in the form of p by q right so what is next next we are actually going to learn how to convert a recurring non terminating decimal number into a rational number yes we are going to take some examples and we will learn while solving those examples I am not going to give you any formula you just learn the method and you will find it easy enough to remember it for the lifetime so let me remove all this and now suppose you want to convert 0 0.33333 and this continues into a rational number then how to proceed if we see it properly we can write it as 0 0.3 and a bar over the 3 why a bar over the 3 because this 3 is getting repeated in finite times right so suppose you assume that this is equal to x we don't know what is the fractional value of this so we are going to assume it as x and suppose x is equal to 0 0.3 bar and now what I want to do I actually want one set of this repeating portion in this case we have only one digit in front of the decimal number right so if I multiply it by 10 this will become 10 times x is equal to 3.3 bar or recurring 3 right this is true if I multiply this equation number 1 by 10 I am going to get 10x is equal to 3.3 bar right yes and now what I have to do I will subtract this equation number 1 from the equation number 2 that means I'll write equations like this 10x is equal to 3.3 bar and then we have x is equal to 0.3 bar and if I subtract I'm going to get 10x minus x is 9x and this will be equal to 3 right because this recurring 3 after the decimal will get cancelled right so I have got 9x is equal to 3 and from here we'll get x is equal to 3 by 9 that is 3 ones are 3 3 threes are 9 which is actually equal to 1 by 3 right so the fractional value or the rational value for 0 0.3 bar is actually equal to 1 by 3 so this is the method using which we can convert a recurring decimal into rational numbers so this is one example and after this we are going to take at least two more examples to understand this concept better right so keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then